Uh, hey guys, I'm going to show you how to use a program called Rockbox and install it on your computer. I'm also going to show you um, how to hopefully get iPod Linux. I won't show you how to install it today, but I'll show you how to download it. Um, and I will show you how to download a program called LP Recorder, which will let you record music off the internet or iTunes for free. Alright, I guess we'll just start with Rockbox. Alright. Rockbox is just this website right here. I'll give you a link, which will be on the side. Pretty much, if you have anything like whatever these are, you know, I have the iPod Nano first gen, so you know, this is the one I'll be clicking on. If you have the second gen or the first gen minis, you can click on those. Whatever iPod you have, you can pretty much tell by just looking at the picture. Um, except for the iPod color photo and videos. You can, th these will tell you by the gigs on the back sign. You just gotta look. All right, since I have the iPod Nano first gen, I want to click that. Hopefully, it won't take too long to open. Internet's really slow. All right, this is what it'll come to. It'll just ask you to save it. Uh, just save that to your desktop. All right. Um, and it'll take a second, but it won't take too long. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure. It's different for everybody. Well, my computer is lagging. Sucks. Uh, scanning for viruses. And it should be done. I'm just closing because I don't need it. Alright, you're going to want to extract that. It'll come up on your desktop. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, you'll get this folder called Dot Rockbox, alright? You're going to want to open that folder. And you're going to see all these cool stuff right here, alright? You see all this? Alright, that's pretty much all you're really going to need. Then you're just going to want to take that folder. Make sure you take your iPod. Make sure you, when you turn it on, or when you plug it in, just plug it in normally. iTunes should open up if you don't already have it open. Mine should pop up, but I'm just going to go ahead and try and open it anyway. Uh, it just detected my drive, so it shouldn't take too long. But my iTunes is big, so it'll take forever, so you never know. I need to keep that up. Um, I guess while we're waiting, I can show you the, this is the website that we'll be downloading the recorder from. It'll be this download right here. Um, these are the files for iPod Linux downloads. And I'll show you about that later. It just all depends on how much I get done today. So, freaking iTunes would open. Seriously. Alright, my iTunes is opened up. Um, don't ask me how to change this color thing. I really don't know how it changed. It's just it changed like that one day when I came home from school. So, yeah, make sure when you open your iPod up, it'll say Enable Disk Use. You're going to want to have that checked. And then click Apply down here. And you can just minimize that. And you're going to want to open up My Computer. Open up your iPod. Take the entire folder for that rot box and just place it in here. Alright, once that file is into the um, iPod, what you're going to need to do is go to the Rockbox website, go to Extras, and then click on this little font right here, click here, and it'll automatically open up and just save it. And then you're going to want, I'll have a link for you, and then you're going to want to minimize, take the font folder, um, I would just open it up, it's not hard, just open it, open the other one, and then keep opening it until you get to here, alright, then hold down control, and just click A, alright, or hit the A button, and then click on this file right here, so you don't have like that one too. And then just take all those, drag it, 
into the open that Rockbox fonts folder. All right, I've already done that, so we're just gonna go ahead and pass that, and you can just after that, you can just close that and that. All right, then what you're gonna want to do is I'll have a link for you. This is iPod Patcher. You can also get this at the Rockbox website. I will have another link for you for there. Um, you go to manual, whatever iPod you have. I have this one, so I clicked on online. Scroll down to installation. Uh, Slate Rockbox, and then it's not the pad. Uh, it's right here, yeah. the patcher. All right, I'll have this link up for you in the video on the side. All right, then you're gonna want to open that, run it. So pull this up, alright? To install it, you just hit I and then hit enter. And it says moving image, creating room for new firmware, blah blah blah. And this shouldn't take too long. Alright, now that the bootloader is finished, It'll go through all this right here, and then it'll tell you to press enter to exit. You just press enter. Alright, now to figure this out, see if it worked, just unplug your iPod, let it boot up, and it should boot up automatically into Rockbox. And that's how you put Rockbox onto your iPod. Now to uninstall it, in case you don't know, just plug it back in. It'll automatically go into everything. Open up the iPod patcher again. It'll say it's scanning for devices. It'll find it. And then cancel this real quick. It'll find it right here. Just put U, type enter. And now it just removes the bootloader. And now you don't have iP Rockbox on your iPod anymore. The only thing is, if you still, if you would have. The reason they do that is because if you just don't like delete this file, just deleting that, it won't get rid of it. It'll just it'll still load into Rockbox. It just won't load properly, and it'll say like error, blah blah blah. So that's pretty much that. All right. Uh, the next thing I was gonna show you was the uh, I gotta keep all this the CFB software is the LP recording. All right. This little link right here, you just open that. It should, it'll say save as, save it to your desktop. Pretty much just set it up like normal. If it asks you, if it asks you to do anything like, you know, register, blah, 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 you don't have to. It gives you 44 free hours, so I mean, that's a little much, so that's why I like to use this one. Just make sure it's the recorder. And you can also, I guess, either one of these is fine. It's just the fir first sight and second sight. Once you have that recorded, all right, like LP recorded trial, you just open that up. This is the first thing you should see is user registration. It'll say unregistered, unregistered. Just click OK. And then it'll pop up like this. You just put use trial version. Don't worry about anything on this page. Just click OK. All right, this is the actual program, all right? Um, to record music off the internet or something like that, you're going to want to go to 